All right, what's going on, low coders? Feeling a little bit under the weather, but I've got an awesome, awesome video for you today. So this is a follow-on from the previous video where I showed you how you can create unlimited free PDFs in Glide. Now what I wanna do is show you how you can make these uh, PDFs even more dynamic by adding and removing dynamic line items. So in the case of an invoice, you want to add items, you know, calculate the sum total, remove items, that sort of stuff. So what we're going to be building or what I'll show you how to build is something very simple like this, where you have a number of different items. These could be your services, your products, whatever you can add them to the invoice. And then when you generate the PDF, it creates a beautiful PDF that calculates the sum total and blah, blah, blah. So we have three items here. We can remove two and just have one and it's totally dynamic. It updates instantly. So it's really, really handy. So let's dive into the back end and I'll show you how all of this works. So for this to work, you're going to need two tables. One is the invoice table and then one is, uh, is a uh, line item table. So in the invoice table, we have the name of the invoice, whatever you want to call it. And then we have, uh, some related line items. So this is a simple relation column where you're matching the row ID of this particular invoice to the line items invoice ID. Okay. So all that's going to do is wherever the line item has this ID of the invoice in a column, it's going to pull that in. So you can see in this case, we've got one. If we come back here and add another, it's going to have two pretty straightforward. Then what we want is a joined list where it joins all of the text from these related items. And the text we're joining is the HTML from that line item. Now I'll show you that in a little bit, but we'll just continue on the invoices table for a second. So then that, what that's going to do is it's going to pull in all of the items. So that's one and that's two. It's going to pull it in as one piece of text. And then this is just a sum. So basically we're doing the same thing. We're kind of summing up the price and this is a roll up column. So we've got the related items, specific HTML from each item in one list, and then the sum total in the template now, which is what we're going to convert into the PDF. We can have something like this where we have the title. So you can see here, the name is being replaced by the name of the invoice here. We have an unordered list, right? And then within this list is the word line items. This word is getting replaced by that list of HTML line items that we just created. So you can see here, it's the HTML. And then the last one is just the sum and that's just pulling in the sum. So that's that. And then this link is still the same. So if you haven't watched the first video, go back and it'll show you how to construct this special link that converts HTML into PDFs instantly and free in the line items table, we just have the name of the item, the price, and then another template column. And this template column is just very simple. We've got a list item and within that we're replacing the item with the name of the item and then the price with the price of the item. That's it. So when we go back to here, it's all pulling in and that's really all it is. You can add uh, and remove invoice items. It's super, super dynamic. You click generate PDF, bang, you can send this off to people. You can get your money, do whatever you want. So again, if you're interested in learning more cool hacks and stuff with glide, um, you're more than welcome to join the free, uh, glide community that I've created called low code school. I'm going to be posting tutorials, whole bunch of cool stuff and doing live Q and A and that sort of stuff. So that's it. I hope that wasn't too long. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Cheers.